Hey, what's up guys? So I'm here at SEMA. I just finished the last of my interviews, just grabbed lunch, and so now we got a little bit of uh, chill time. And so I wanted to give you guys a tour, actually, of walking around the show. We're gonna go uh, check out different radar detector companies. Uh, I'm actually, let's see, here's the Whistler booth. Uh, so we'll just flip around real quick. So you can see we got all our Whistler radar detectors. Uh, we'll just walk around so you guys can take a look. We'll head over to Escort right after this. So we got Mike B actually right there. I know he doesn't want to be on camera, so we won't show him, but uh, we've got Whistler over here. Um, a lot of the booths are actually really close together. Hey, what's up, guys? So uh, let's just give you guys a quick tour. Luckily, a lot of the radar detectors and dash cams are all here in this like kind of mobile electronics area. And so it makes it really easy to kind of hang out and say hi to everybody. Anything coming out that I need? Um, depends on what you need. I got a lot of videos. What's up, Brady? Okay, so we are here at uh, Escort now. Let's flip around. Hey, there's Brady from Escort. So uh, Escort's got like a, a Lambo here that's all wrapped up and everything. Uh, let's go take a look at their detectors too. Let's see, we can flip this around. Yeah, yeah, last right. day of craziness, right? Yeah, so, Seam Ignited. Hey, how's it going? Good, how are you? Good. So we've got a bunch of uh, escorts detectors here. So um, we've got, let's see, the IX is here. Uh, here is the Max CI on display, and it's cool. They got you know information describing everything. Uh, we've got the Solo S4. We've got the Max 360. Uh, they've got the regular 360 here. Oops, flip the other way. The 360C is not on display since it's kind of like just announced but not available. So they got the regular 360. Uh, we got the Redline EX, how's it going? And let's see, we've got uh, some of the Cobras. I learned something interesting, actually, um, for, as far as uh, the RAD 500G. So this guy has uh, GPS built in, Aaron was telling me. So it's like around, what is it, $200 or so? So it's gonna have manual lockouts, but no auto. Um, so, and it's got some of like Escort's IBT. So I don't know how good this guy is gonna be, but if it's good detector, then, uh, you know, it'll have Lockouts for like 200 bucks, so that could be interesting. Sure, sure, yeah. Doesn't interject the video. Oh, no, no, not at all. I'm just doing a tour. So hey, we've got Aaron here. Uh, hey guys. So just doing a little tour and saying hi to everybody. So just doing a live video, just walking around the show, yeah, yeah. giving people a tour and all. So yeah, we've been talking about uh, doing like some more videos and follow-ups and conversations and oh, stuff. Yeah. So well, we've got something fun coming for you guys. We're putting a Q&A session together. So what we're gonna get is really kind of answering all your in-depth questions. So we're gonna handle tech questions. Uh, design questions, basically everything about the new Max 360C, uh, Redline EX, and uh, we're going to cover some more surprises as time goes on. Oh, that'd be cool. Yeah. If you guys have any questions for Aaron uh, about like Escort products, any of that kind of stuff, let me know down in the comment area below. I'm putting together a list of all the different questions, and uh, we're actually talking about you know putting a list together and then doing another like follow-up yeah. talk here in a couple days or so. So definitely let sure. me know down in the comments. So Cool. Cool. Thank you. Thank well, you, Ariel. See you again in a couple days? Yeah. Online? All right, cool. All right, so onward. So that's Escort. Let's see. Oops, flip around. Uh, so we're gonna walk over this way. Uh, Redenso is really close by as well and no photo. Uh, hopefully you guys can hear me all right. I'm intentionally not using a lapel mic. Uh, that way when other people are around talking, uh, I wanna make sure that you can hear them. So let's see. Uh, it's, okay, there we go, there's Redenso. I'll flip this around so you guys can see what I see. One thing that's really nice about the show is uh, they have all these things up overhead and you can use them, like see there's no limits over there, which is Redenso and the no photo. Uh, sorry, Escort has one up here as you can see. And so it's nice when you're walking around the show trying to find everything. Uh, it just makes it easier to figure out where everybody is. So uh, we've got some dash cam companies up here. We'll stop by there, wherever they are. I think they might be over on that side. So just walking by. So yeah, this is uh, Friday, it's the last day of the show, and it's kind of nice because there's fewer people here. There's definitely still crowds and everything you can see, uh, but the crowds have definitely died down. Um, there's a dash cam company over here I wanted to go say hi to. I think Papa goes over this way. We got some trucks. Uh, let's see, oh, here we go. Let's Papa go. So I interviewed these guys yesterday. They've got some cool stuff. Uh, I still gotta work on the video and all, but they got a number of different dash cams over here. So as you can see, Papa Go. So this is one of the cameras that we're featuring, the GoSafe S780. Here's Jorge. Hey, how's it going, Jorge? Good, hey, good to see you. Good on. Likewise. Yeah. Having a good time? Yeah, good. How yeah. about you? Almost done. Yeah, good. Get yeah. some footage as well. Yeah, he's good. <laughs> so he's a photographer as well, and so yeah. he's just talking cameras and all that kind of stuff. So he'll be the guy that I'm interviewing. Uh, the other product that we're looking at is this thing, which is a rear view mirror backup camera dash cam kind of thing. So it's playing footage right now, but it's actually like your rear view mirror. And for those of you guys who if you drive like a Lamborghini or a truck or something and you don't have good rear visibility, you can use a backup camera as the uh, 
rear view mirror basically. And it also has a dash cam built on that side. So it's like a dash cam built into your rear view mirror plus a backup camera, which is kind of a cool idea. So that's what I'm gonna be showing you guys from here. Now let's go ahead and continue on to Redenso, which is over this way. Uh, DOD's around somewhere. Thinkware, one of their booths is right next to Redenso, so we'll go there as well. Uh, Blackview is in another building, actually, like right over there. Uh, Waylands, I just talked to them this morning. They're way on the other side of the building. So, all right. Am I even going the right way? Oh, here we go. No limits. Here we are. So, here is the Redenso car. I'm sure you guys have seen this online. And here it is. We've got Michael. You can see talking to people. So, all busy. So here is the Redenso booth. We'll float around and then we'll go inside and take a look at stuff. You can see it's, even though it's Friday and we're all, well, tired and <laughs> the show's kind of dying down. There's John grabbing some lunch, that's awesome. We've got the no photo over here. Hey! Uh, we got dragon eyes going on. So, fun stuff with the dragon eye. Can say hi? Or, I know, it's like, yeah. Hey, and we've got John over here. Hey, what's up, John? Sorry. I know, I come right over when you're eating. Sorry. <laughs> this is actually the show, a lot of behind the scenes stuff. So, hey. Not to get the Redenso SP for 160. Yeah, no kidding. That's amazing. So, uh, you can see there's some guys checking out the new ALP TX sensor. It is super tiny. A little teeny tiny. We've got uh, the Redenso RCM over here. Being demoed. Everybody's taking a look at it. There's Nathan. We've got uh, Randy over here. You guys have seen him on the forum. Here's Randy. Hey everyone. Yep. Hey everybody. So he's uh, Randy at No Limits. You guys know him on the forum. We've got the uh, Redenso Pro M edition over here. So we're calling it the Pro M. I used to call it the RPME or it was the RPSM or something originally. So apparently Pro M is what we're going to be calling it. Uh, we've got the XP over here which keeps going to sleep because it's got no GPS. <laughs> so you have to keep waking it up. Uh, but yeah, so here at the Redenso booth, widest detector in the world, XP, Pro M, talk about their MRCD stuff and then the RCM, they're saying most advanced radar detector ever. Uh, let's actually go take a look at the car, review of the M. Yeah, oh definitely. So I'm gonna have one coming in. They're still working on beta firmware and everything, but uh, I'm gonna show you guys the car. This is really cool. So on the back here, you can see we've got uh, the no photo mounted and we've got uh, ALPs. So one there, oh, sorry, and another one right over there. So we were using this for demo. They'll come and shoot, you know, to do like the back and the front. And they have a, uh, a radar detector. The rear Redenso head is actually mounted uh, underneath here, so they have this kind of like sticker thing to let you know, and it's in the, uh, what, I don't know what the word is, like the liner thing, so they've got it there. And then if we go around, uh, we'll hop inside in just a minute, I'll have to take off my backpack. But, oh, look at that, Redenso, they've got a sign for it up in the air. And that's gonna be hat shelf. Oh, hat shelf, thank you, Adam. So there's the Redenso display right up there that we were using for the video. I'm guessing a lot of you guys have seen that already. Um, and this was kind of funny. I saw this at first and I was like, no, but then it kind of makes sense. So this is a, and hopefully you guys can hear me okay, but here's the front of the Redenso car. Uh, if we take a look at it, pan up, we've got uh, the ALP heads. So here's one right there. There's the uh, TX sensor. So you guys can see it, it's super tiny right there in the middle. And then we've got the other ALP sensor right here. Now the uh, radar head for the Redenso, it's right behind the grill, right there. And I'm sure you guys are gonna be like, no, what are you doing with the demo car, you know? Showing it installed incorrectly. And that was my initial reaction, but then they were like, you know, we started talking about it. And well, if you put it behind a body panel or something, nobody's gonna see it, you know? And this has to be for demo purposes so people can actually see the products installed. And so while it's not the best installation, it actually works for, uh, you know, for just demoing here at the show. So some things are a little bit different here at the show than they'd be in, normal, in real life. But it's cool to see we've got the ALP triples, plus this little teeny tiny transmit head. It's ridiculously small. It's like maybe an inch wide. I mean, look at that, it's tiny. So we've got the ALP triple, quote unquote. And then if we hop inside the car real quick, uh, we'll just do this. So they've got the uh, display, whoops, go up this way. We've got the display right there, and you can see it's blinking for no GPS because, well, we're indoors, so it doesn't have a GPS lock, but we've got that, and everybody's just been demoing by shooting the dragon eye at it and stuff, and that's the Redenso booth, so, hey. Whew, let's see, so I know who else is around here. Uh, Thinkware is somewhere. Here we go. Here's Thinkware. All right, so dying down, uh, Billy, the guy that I did the interview with, he is out now that the show's sort of relaxing. Uh, people have a chance to go check out other stuff, so... Here is the booth as far as the uh, different cameras. So the F100, we've got like the waterproof camera. There is the main kind of affordable front dash cam. And then we have two optional rear cameras for dual channel. We've got the uh, 
the IR version over here, if you wanted to feel like an Uber driver or something, and then the standard one over there. So we got the dedicated battery pack, and then the X550, which I don't really know what the story is with that one. We've got uh, over here, we've got their main dash cam, so the F770, 800, and 800 Pro. People are looking at them because it's SEMA, and that's what you do, checking out all the products. People are explaining what everything is. So these are their kind of, uh, I don't know if it's like mid-tier or whatever, but other ones, um, the ones that I'm, I guess, less interested in. <laughs> uh, this is the box that they had last year here, um, which is kind of nice. So. IR demonstration model. So basically the idea is uh, if we open it up, there's two trucks in here. Uh, one of the cameras has IR, it looks like it's this one. It's got little infrared sensors. You can't really see it with the human eye. Um, and then over here it doesn't have any, and you can see they're both you know, the same truck, right? Now if we, so let's see, we can back it up. So you can see the truck there, and you can see the truck there. If we close it, you can see over here, it's not lit up, but over there it is. You can see it because of the little IR uh, sensors, the little transmitters, you can see stuff in the dark. And I remember when I first learned about this feature, I thought it was for outside, and I'm like, there's no way this can possibly light up outside like a vehicle like this, but it's actually meant for pointing inside the car, like into the cabin, so you can see you know, the other people inside the car, like if you're a taxi driver or an Uber driver, then, you know, you can record what the people are doing if the lights are off inside the car, and that's really what that feature's for. So, uh, that's the uh, Thinkware booth. Um, who else is around here? DoD is somewhere there, a little bit. Uh, Blackview's gone, so that's a lot of the ones around here. So let's find a good quiet place to just go sit down. So, I'm curious, like, what you guys, we can do like a little Q&A, or talk about what you guys are most interested in, or I can go up to somebody and say, hey, <laughs> like, what would you guys like to know about? I'm curious to hear about that. Let me know. I want to walk over to a quieter place, so there's not as much music and distraction and stuff going on. Go for a walk, and if there's nothing, um, I can always share, like, a couple thoughts that I've got of just the show in general. It's my second year, uh, and it's nice, kind of, the second year since I've done it before. I've got a better idea as far as what to expect, but... Uh, I think comments should pop up. If you guys let me know, if, I guess no questions, or? I'm busy typing. Okay, well while you guys are doing that, if there's anything you're wondering or want me to go walk towards, let me know. Um, but I guess kind of one of the biggest takeaways or things that I've noticed uh, is the people. That's kind of one of my favorite parts is getting a chance to meet with, you know, Escort and Redenso and Whistler and some people, not Escort, is Blendmount there? Yes, actually, so I met Sebastian, he's here, one of the Blendmount guys. They don't have a booth, but they're here, so I had a chance to meet uh, two of the guys from Blendmount. Uh, I ran into them. Uh, Matt Farah, I know, is here, but I didn't run into him. Rob Ferretti, I ran into yesterday, which is cool, I'm trying to like set something up with him uh, in New York next year. Um, and this was actually the first time I got to see each other. I just finished my interview with the DOD uh, vice president. Not Department of Defense, the dashcam company. Unit Uniden doesn't have a booth here. No, they don't. So there's nobody from Uniden that's here. So uh, I met with Rob Ferretti. That was cool just to see him. Uh, I know Jay Leno is here somewhere. Uh, I met uh, the guys from Black Box My Car. They do dashcam stuff. Uh, I met with them when I was at the Blackview booth maybe two, two days ago. Uh, so maybe doing some collaborations with them. Uh, I met, if you guys remember the, the video that I did with the Tesla that had the ALP installed and it had the Perspex or whatever? So it was like that stealth install. Uh, those guys are here as well. They're based down in Portland. Uh, coolest car you saw? Oh my gosh. Everything from race cars. There's a ton of like slammed cars here, which we can go outside and I can show you some of that stuff. It's, it'll be this way, so it'll be a little bit of a hike, but uh, we can go take a look outside at a lot of the cars. There's a ton of cars out here. Everything from GTRs, Ferraris, Lamborghinis are really common, Ford Mustangs. A lot of trucks, depending on what section of the show that you're in. The show is huge. Why didn't they put arrows on the red line? <laughs> they could do that with another antenna in the rear. Resurgence of CB. Uh, actually, yes, Cobra had a CB that they were showing that had a red light camera database built in, which I thought was kind of interesting. And they said that was for truckers because a lot of truckers, they can't run radar detectors and that kind of stuff in their car, but they have a CB. Why well, was segment two off? I emailed about that, um, which I think is a typo, I'm guessing. I think it was just a typo in the manual. So I emailed about them, and that's kind of one of the things on the list to talk to Aaron about. And I'm guessing it's probably just going to be like, whoops, we'll fix that in the manual or something. So I don't think that one's a big deal. But 
the CB for truckers, because they can't run you know, radar detectors legally, they've got their CB and it alerts them to red light cameras, so they get the alerts for that when they're in town and just kind of like integrate an extra device since they have all that red light camera stuff. Uh, so that was kind of something as far as CBs that I saw. Not really what I focus on as much, but it was cool to see that as just far as something new. So yeah, Uniden's not here. Let's go outside, find some more cars. It's Friday and there's still a ton of people here. Not like before when it was crazy. You can actually walk down the aisles now and it's not too crazy. And it's nice, you could, it was kind of tricky. And the cute girls if you pass by. That's okay, so as far as the, the models, if you will, the very Vegas-esque models, <laughs> they're less so in the mobile electronics because they're not gonna be like, hey, check out my radar detector. Direction you're walking, sure, I'll turn it around. So the models, uh, they're more in like, and I can walk to that, maybe the center hall where you have a lot of the like, the trucks or they're talking about suspensions and exhausts and that kind of stuff, less so the electronics. Valentine's not around, nope. Gun manufacturers, I didn't see any stalker or custom, uh, they, I don't see any of them here. I did run into a police officer last year who had a custom Ranger EZ, which is a radar gun I'd never seen before and it can actually give you approximate direction to the target, not just the speed or direction that has traveled, or sorry, approximate distance. So that was kind of cool. Um, it is a, uh, what's it called? What's it called? Uh, it uses some frequency modulation, kind of like the MRCD, but not. Uh, here we go, here's some cars, like some Ferrari. Review the new 360C, yes. So I'm gonna be getting a 360C and there is one that's gonna be tested by the Texas Countermeasure Testing Group this weekend. So we're gonna have some very soon, or very early test results coming in. So here we go, we've got some Ferrari, it looks really cool. If you guys, I'm sure there's a lot of you guys who know cars way better than I do. If you recognize the model or whatever, let me know. Wow, it's clearing up outside, it's emptying out, but let's go take a look. This might be the, uh, the drifting area. Yeah, all the stands and everything are like super empty. Creating Escort Live, why don't they integrate with Waze? Probably licensing reasons. They used to, actually Escort Live and Waze used to integrate, but uh, I don't know if it was like they'd have to pay a fee to do it or something, or they closed down the back door that allowed Escort to do that. But I don't know if it's like a money thing or what, but uh, yeah, they used to integrate with Waze. I think that would be really cool, but they don't currently do that, so. All right, so we're heading outside now. Hopefully it's not gonna to be too loud. Where are we? Convention center. And so, how many days were you at the show? So the whole time, uh, it started, I flew in Monday, I believe. Monday morning, I woke up at like 3 a.m. and flew into the show. And I've been here every day, all day, ever since. So, let's go check out some cars. We got some trucks. Yeah, a lot of people out here. So I'm here like the whole time and I fly out tomorrow. New modulation, between the states. So apparently there's a Gatso somewhere somebody mentioned. Um, I'm, it's not a big deal here in the US, all the stuff. It's more of an international thing and I think it's more than KU band. Cobra used to say, hey, KU band has been approved, but it never showed up. There were never any radar guns that got approved for KU band. New LiDAR at the show? Nope, nothing as far as new LiDAR. Uh, so KU band never got approved and while, or. There were no radar guns that were built here in the U.S. for KU band, and so it was approved by the FCC, but it never came out. Whereas the frequency modulated stuff, like the MRCD, yeah, that could actually potentially show up. So that it's, I'm really glad that they're building all that stuff and getting it in. So let's see, we've got something over here. Looks like there's maybe some radio show or something that's going on over here. Let's go take a look. Check this out. We got a bunch of wild cars. Anything with new LiDAR? Nope, nothing with new LiDAR. No, oh, actually, yes. Uh, new laser jammers from Escort that are wireless. So they don't have to go through the firewall. So that is something new. Uh, I talked about that in one of my videos, I think, a little bit. I'm not sure how much detail I went into that. Nice roll. Yeah, nice roll. Yeah. So we got, here we go, a bunch of cars. So we'll just go take a look. A lot of them have open engine bays, and you know, you can see around. Here's some modded GTR over here. We'll go head over here. It'll be kind of noisy, but we'll walk over this way in just a minute. All right. 
I don't know if this is anything or what this is, but I was looking to see my sign. Well, let's heck yeah, we'll leave that as it is. Give ourselves a sharpie. I was born carrying a sharpie. By the way, right? oh, well, look at you. Oh, look, Aaron oh. has one. Aaron, you better sign both these guitars. I'm good. You got it. Let me tell you the difference between your sharpie and mine. They'll have celebrities here all the time. I think that's one of the areas where they do interviews. There's another one indoors. Uh, here's some cool car. What is this like? Four GT. Pretty cool looking. And of course, we got all the camera guys, you know. Dustin. Yeah. Hey, how's it going? Hi. Hey, this is a guy named Dustin. This is Randy. Hey, everybody. This is Oxana. <laughs> what about you? You gotta get yourself in the video. No, yeah, I'm walking around to show people other stuff. Oh, yeah, plenty of stuff on Enjoy. So, yeah, there's lots of people. I don't want to have random people on here just if they're whatever. So, anyway, moving right along, we've got a whole bunch of cool stuff. So, like SRT Challenger, race cars, funny cars. Not funny cars, what are they called? Drag something or another. We got all these uh, new Hennessy F1. Ah, oh, cool, thank you. Thanks for the uh, the call out as far as what a lot of these cars are. So we've got old stuff like this. We've got, you know, modified. Opia didn't show up. Nope, I didn't see Opia. Microvation, they're not here. Let's see, these sort of things. Is that Hennessy? That was a Hennessy car. Speaking of which, here we go. It's a Hennessy ZL1 Camaro, I believe. Yeah, The Exorcist. Alright, cool. Let's go take a look at this guy real quick. So for those of you guys who know engines and all that stuff, well, better than I do. <laughs> Powered by Hennessy. So we got a Hennessy car. The yellow one. Yeah, the yellow one that was way back that way. So, a whole bunch of cool stuff. There's tons and tons of just random wild vehicles that you'll see here. and. Sometimes I feel like I'm missing out because there's so much stuff that I can show you and well, I like that I can do this because there's no way that I could, you know, sit down and edit a video. Uh, radar detectors, laser jammers built in, yes. So a lot of the cars will have a dash cam or a radar detector mounted. Uh, I've seen some and I'll look at them, you know, they'll have laser jammers there. And uh, sometimes they'll have deals. Some guys will actually come up to the radar detector booths and say, hey, can I have a radar detector to put in my car, you know, for photos? And so there's like relationships between all these companies. Uh, to, you know, use each other's products and marketing and promotion and stuff. So a lot of the cars, and I'll point out the next one that I see, will have some sort of radar detector or laser jammer or something mounted. It's kind of cool. Sometimes they want to focus more on the vehicle itself and they take out any extra electronics. Uh, 360C, more stuff. I don't think Escort's announced it unless they've done it in the past hour or so. Uh, new thing. As far as uh, if they've officially released it yet, I'm not sure. It's a cool looking STI. I like the kind of matte paint job on there. Cool. This is a lime green M3, M2, M2 kind of race. That's cool. Looks like we got a food area here. Uh, we had a bunch of guys actually drifting over this way. It was really cool, but I haven't heard them in the past couple minutes, so they must have kind of finished up, which is kind of nice because it's ridiculously loud. But anyway, you can walk over here, check out some more cars. They've got all these wild wraps, so like this sort of stuff. It's like a wrapped M3. A lot of race cars, a lot of lowered cars, that's super popular, and a lot of like crazy designs and stuff. This is suspension guys, a lot of, here we go, this guy's almost pretty much down at the ground, a lot of that, which not really my thing, but uh, apparently a lot of people like it because it's super popular. There's, if it's still here, there it is, some Porsche that, uh, oh there we go, the drifting is. I'll head over there in just a minute. You can hear them now, probably in the background. Are these like super lowered Porsches? Check this out. We'll head over so you guys can see this. I don't think this would be good for track usage. <laughs> Look at that. And this car kind of stands out because of the paint, you know? But uh, super low. Let's go check out the, uh, the drifting that's going on. Air, airbag suspensions, yeah, exactly. So they can just go down for the show and then they lift it back up when they need, but uh, I don't know, I don't, I'm not a big fan of the look, but whatever. I know a lot of people are. I don't wanna judge, but I don't like it. <laughs> All right, M4, got some cool Lamborghini here. Hardware issues with your V1, warranty. Uh, depends on how old it is. If you, the main thing is having Bluetooth and uh, TMF2 for your V1. 
That way you've got all the cell phone integration for Yabi One or V1 driver, and you've got decent BSM filtering. So if you don't have that, yes, it would be worth upgrading. If not, then, well, I guess you have the latest stuff. So either way, yeah, having a new V1 does make a big difference. There we go. Let's go check out the drifting. Can you guys hear me all right, by the way? I'm uh, intentionally not using the microphone because I want you to be able to pick up, you know, like the ambiance of... Not an entrance. Okay. We just walked through what's not an entrance. <laughs> okay, good. Uh, all right, excellent. Let's go head over and check out the drifting. We've got to find a place where I can sneak in and see. Now that we've got a good spot, we'll wait a second. So they've got uh, drifting that you can watch like this. I'll turn around while we wait. And, oh, that's in my face now. <laughs> they also have, if you want, you can go for a ride and drift. Very expensive luxury sedan to have the suspension. Cool. So if you guys uh, come to SEMA, you can actually go drifting yourself. There's a BMW Continental Tyler thing where you can sit in the back of a car and go drifting. I did it last year, it's fun, but anyway. There is an ALP here at the Redenso booth, but Anti Laser, the company, is not here. They're mostly radar detectors. Escort, Whistler, Cobra, uh, Redenso. What? Okay, next car's going. Uh, Unit in is not here. There we go. It's a red car. Red Cobra's about to go drifting. some of the newer ones. There was an update for the ZR5. Cool. Any new self-driving cars? Uh, I didn't see much as far as the self-driving car stuff. Um, it's mostly like mods. I did see like some, you know, blind spot monitoring stuff, and there's a lot of wheels like this and suspension, so not really as much of the self-driving stuff. I didn't really see a lot of that, but actually, let's see here. We can check out something new. We'll go show what's new in Whistler. So is Blinder still around? No, they're pretty much done. Uh, the new Escort ZR5s are actually Blinder being sold under the Escort name. Another guy drifting. We'll watch this, and then I'll go over there. trucks we'll go check out some of the other like uh, vehicle stuff this is awesome yeah show some things live yeah totally now that uh, a lot of the what's it called 
the initial interviews and stuff are done, I can relax because like I have all the stuff that I need to get while I'm here. I still got some videos that I need to edit and stuff, you know. Uh, Team O'Neill Riley's driving school. That's cool. Focus RS. Bunch of trucks. I think back here they've got like a bunch of Lambos and stuff. That's always fun. Let's see, so what else we've got? Uh, oh, up here we've got a bunch of lifted trucks. Those are always fun, like some almost monster truck level. What's new in Whistler? That, thank you, by the way. Okay, so no new radar detectors announced, but there's a new one coming in about two weeks. Uh, I just posted the video. Let's flip this around real quick. Uh, two new radar detectors coming out from Whistler uh, that are the successors to the CR88 and the CR93. Same features, same filtering, all that kind of stuff, same design. The improvement is how many products you got for new videos. Uh, I didn't, well, I'll answer that in just a minute. And let me know what do you mean by products. Like, was I given products or how many products did I review? Um, as far as Whistler, the improvements is going to be improvements to performance, which is good because the detectors really need that. Uh, an extra 3 dB on K band and an extra 6 dB on KA. Uh, 3 dB is like twice the sensitivity, so it'll be twice as sensitive on K band. And then I uh, forget the logarithmic scale for 6, if it's like four times or three times as sensitive, whatever, on KA. And here we'll go this way, it might be a little quieter. Um, so, they should perform better. That does not necessarily mean we'll get twice the range if it's twice as sensitive. But it will translate into improved performance and range and sensitivity or whatever. BSM is the same, no changes to BSM. So it's just range improvements. All right, I'll flip. So uh, the new Whistlers are going to come out in about, in about six weeks. Uh, Mike does want to change the name. It'll be called like a Pro 725 or something like that. 710, I think, is what he's thinking about. But there's still kind of discussion on what the name is going to be. It will look the same, but have different different name and better performance, effectively, so. Let's see. I guess the lighting isn't as good when we're walking into the sun like this, but uh, there we go. New product showcase, we can go see new stuff. Uh, this way, South Hall will be more like trucks and whatnot, but now uh, there, the media area where I'm uploading a lot of the videos is over there. But let's head over and check out some cool cars, which are all over this way too. So, well, everywhere, who's just like, ATV. How good do you think it's going to be? I don't know. <laughs> $700? Jeez, you know? I, I don't have Wi-Fi in my car. I don't really have a use for that, uh, the cloud stuff. But the people who do have Wi-Fi built in their car all do seem really excited about uh, the new features and capabilities. And hey, you don't have to bother about it connecting to your phone or not doing a good job of connecting. It'll just work, you know? So that's kind of cool. So I guess if you have Wi-Fi in your car, well, great, whatever, but I don't, so I don't really care. Anyway, let's go check out some cars over here, some of the uh, outdoor booths, and the weather is great, as usual, because while well, it's Las Vegas, you can see we got some of the casinos, we're not too far from the Strip. Let's go check out what's over here. Race cars. Oh, we got, it's like dune trucks. Off-road racing, a lot of that here, in buggies. Sorry if it's a little noisier here, but now you guys have music, so hey. Let's go check out a lot of these guys. I haven't actually been out this way. There's no, you know, like radar detector companies or whatever. This is kind of out of the way, so it's actually the first time I've been out this way. So you guys will get to see it too. Let's go check out what all we've got here. Bunch of trucks. Tons of them, every direction. Things are, yeah, they're definitely quieter now. It's nice since uh, the show's almost over. I mean, it ends at four or five, four, maybe three, I don't know, early today. It usually runs till five, but it's the last day, so everything's winding down. A lot of people have left already. Let's wrap around. I don't want to exit yet completely. Head back into the show, I guess. But anyway, um, yeah, cool show. It's been nice getting a chance to meet people and put, you know, faces to the names or like, oh, you are with Escort or you're with Redenso, you're the guy I've seen in the forums or you're the person who's responsible for this aspect of sales and like, I'm actually really, really liking to meet, you know, the people, Escort, Cobra, Whistler, uh, the dash cam companies as well. Nice seeing you. Yeah, hey. Oh, guys taking pictures, not at me. Uh, um, but it's really cool getting to meet everybody and guys who used to be at Escort now with other companies. Guy that Thinkware uh, said missed you by a few minutes. What do you think about the new Thinkware versus Blackview? So, 
there were some differences as far as the cloud functionality um, and how it's implemented. I don't remember the exact nuances, but the thing that I remember the most is the parking mode functionality. They operate differently. With the Thinkware F800 Pro, the parking mode has like a low power thing, so the camera is kind of asleep. It's not recording while you're parked. And if there, in case there's an impact, that wakes the camera up and then it begins recording. So it doesn't record the whole time and it will miss the impact in case your car gets hit. But as soon as it gets hit, it wakes up and it sees there's a car in front of you or whatever and starts recording. Blackview will record the whole time. And in case there's an impact, how's the R3 on K-Band Falls? Good? <laughs> so the Blackview is recording the whole time. So in case there's an impact, then it's actually going to be able to see the car backing into you or whatever, and you get the whole thing, which is really nice. Um, let's see. Bands all over US and Canada. Want to upgrade? Cool. Cool. Happy driving. So I like the fact that the Blackview, it's going to be able to, it's got pre-buffering. So in case your car gets hit, it can record and save kind of 15 seconds before you get hit. So it sees the whole thing. Thinkware won't do that. But the benefit of that is you get like triple the recording time with the Thinkware. So if you're parked for, you know, more than like 12 hours or 24 hours or whatever, the camera can record for, I think they said like 36 hours was the number that they gave. Maybe longer, three days, I forget what. But the idea is you get much longer recording time and parking time because it's in kind of sleep mode. So kind of trade-offs in that regard. And that's one of the things I've been noticing about the dash cam companies is none of them are really sure what's the best way to implement a feature or what do customers want. So they're all trying little different things to uh, kind of separate themselves from the competition. You know, what's our unique selling point? What feature do we have that nobody else has? But none of them actually know for sure what people want. And so they're trying things and then just seeing what does the market decide? What do people actually wind up buying? And that's what we're going to do. So that's kind of interesting. Uh, one company, Papago, they had a bunch of different dash cams that they're not necessarily selling. They're bringing them here, and I never thought about this, they're bringing them here just to see what do people think. And people give feedback and then they get an idea on is this going to be popular uh, in the US. Just, and then they're like, oh, people really like this or they wanted to change that. And then they decide what they actually bring out. So a lot of products that we have here, I didn't realize this, they're not actually going to sell here. They're just more like testing and stuff. And that totally makes sense. It's a great place to do that, you know? So the guy in the back of my videos, he looked like that's funny. I always wonder if people are going to try to like photobomb my videos. Wouldn't that be fun? But anyway, okay, I think over this way, yeah. Here we go. We got some fun cars. So I'm going to flip this around. Yeah, and yeah, yeah, I definitely want you guys to feel like you can be here as well, you know? The show isn't open to the general public. It's kind of like, it's designed for, uh, you know, business to business. So they're trying to like hook up other businesses and say, hey, we've got a product, you guys can distribute it and sell it. And so it's more of like working with companies, not the general consumer, which is kind of more what I am. Um, and you guys are as well. You're not businesses, typically. I know some of you guys are, but anyway. It's nice because there's a lot of really cool stuff here that you know you can't necessarily just walk in and see. So I like that you know I got a chance to show you all the stuff that's going on around here. So let's see what do we got? Some race cars. It looks like race Corvette. Let's take a look at these. Which Lexus is that? Like the RC or I don't know the Lexus grills well enough. Oh, low power mode. I got 20% left of my battery. Okay. My uh, stabilizers that I'm using, the gimbal, I can't plug in my, uh, ooh, Bugatti Veyron, check this out. I can't plug in my phone charger while this is running, so I'm just gonna like destroy my car, my phone battery <laughs> and go. So it'll cut off at some point. Work great if they know the improved recording time, yeah. Uh, sorry, I missed the first part of your comment, but anyway, I'm just gonna like go till my phone dies, and if it dies, then it dies, and then I'll charge it up later. I've got a battery pack, but I can't use it right now. Oh, cool. New AMG GT. Is this the S or the R? Let's see which one this is. This is cool. G GT R. Oh, cool. It is the GTR. Awesome. Mercedes AMG GTR. Some Lexus. Sometimes it's hard to tell what the Ferraris are because people will have like custom, you know, uh, name badges and stuff and they'll, because they have their own brand. So I'm like, well, I don't know which model it is because, well, it doesn't even say. <laughs> which one are you buying? Yeah, seriously. You guys are gonna have to support me more on Patreon to be able to get one of these. <laughs> like we got some Bentleys, purple Bentley over there. Some fun cars. All right, we got some trucks. I think we got some more jacked up trucks over here. 
Let's go see what's over this way. Oh, this is cool looking. Something a little different, you know? Check this out. Not open to the public? Yes, so if you're media, you can come. Like, I'm coming as media. I'm not a business, you know, selling car parts or whatever. I don't sell cars or race them, but I am media. And so I'm coming that way, and if you look at my badge, I'll flip it around. Uh, people's badges all say different things. Let me take this off real quick. So, uh, if you look at the bottom of mine, it says media, press, so that's how I'm coming. Uh, there's different people that say they're buyers, you know, of products, or they're, uh, you know, there's some sort of vendor or something. So there's different badges with different colors for different things like that. Yeah, this helicopter and punk party models. I know you guys wanted to see some of those. There you go. Great. Yeah, so they're all out. I don't know. I don't want to be like one of the creepy paparazzi guys pointing videos. I don't know. Whatever. Anyway, moving right along. Uh, we've got trucks over here. Tons of lifted stuff. Tons and tons and tons. And I don't know, I guess there's something different for everybody, you know? Like this kind of fun stuff. Super high up, showing off your suspension. You got a camo suspension because, you know, you definitely don't want anybody to see your, your shocks, right? <laughs> so, a lot of fun stuff. Custom colored lights. Looks like we got blue headlights over here on this guy. <laughs> they have car alarms there too? Yep. <laughs> so, yeah, I noticed uh, the, the 12 volt market what the Texas countermeasure testing group needs. <laughs> so apparently like things are getting tougher. Like uh, I've been noticing, you know, people who do like car stereos and whatnot, they're not doing as well these days because a lot of uh, cars have like custom head units. You know, we don't have those DIN or double DIN units to where you could just pull out the old one and pop in a new one. So like the car alarm guys, or actually, or not car alarm, uh, the, the stereo guys aren't doing as well as they used to because of all the like custom stuff. So. It's interesting kind of finding out which industries are doing well, which ones are struggling, which ones are not doing as well, uh, you know, what the trends are. So like, that's kind of cool stuff that you find out just walking around, you know? Looks like we've got some sort of game going on over here. I don't know what it is. It's like cornhole, basically, into exhaust. That was good. <laughs> that's fun. Woo! Yeah, basically cornhole into a car exhaust. <laughs> Almost. Another one. You're welcome. Almost. <laughs> There's a whole line to play cornhole into car exhaust. <laughs> uh, anything new from the remote start companies? I have no idea. I haven't been visiting. I mean, there's so much stuff here that I barely had time to like even visit, you know, all the radar and laser and dash cam people. And there's, oh my gosh, there's so much stuff here. And to be honest, most of the stuff I don't know anything about. So car alarms, I'm sure there's new stuff, but I don't pay attention. I don't really know anything about those. So anyway, let's keep going. I saw Freiburger here earlier. That was cool. He's walking around. He was on the phone. Maybe we'll see some celebrities just as we walk. That's always fun. You do see him here. I know Jay Leno was here. Rob Peretti had a podcast yesterday. Have you seen his vet? Oh, I don't know where it is. That would be cool. I should go take a look. The student driver vet? <laughs> that would be fun. So it's probably around somewhere. Oh, here's the Veyron again. So we just gotta take a look at the Veyron. Check this out. Love this. All right. Moving right along. What else have we got? Oh yeah, so coming back, there's that uh, race for vet. getting a new vinyl wrap, new colors just to refresh. Okay, cool, so maybe they, that would be unrecognizable then? I mean, I kind of know what it looks like, but if he changes the, the wrap on it, that'll make it a little tougher. But anyway, let's see. Oh wow, we got some huge ass lifted truck. This is usually like a Ken Block video, but I figure it would be really annoying to be here all day because you can hear the car tire screech. But it's usually like Gymkhana or him racing or something. See if I can block out the sun so you guys can see better. Uh, they've got Ken Block Racing. That's his Pikes Peak video. Perfect, yeah, makes sense. All right, so 
These guys are gonna check my bag. There's a bag check every time you want to go inside. Unidin, nope, Unidin is not here. So I guess I'll stay outside for now. If I go, well, I could go inside. You guys can come along with me for the bag check. I might have to set down my phone here for a second, but you can see everybody's getting their bags inspected. So they gotta look inside and they just kind of inspect, but not really. So bag, yep. Thank you, brother. Did you see it? Yeah, it's oh, okay, cool, thank you. Oh, for the first time that I didn't even have to open up my bag. That's nice. 10% battery. So, my phone is almost done. We've got food in here for people, coffee, because you've got to have your coffee. Let's see, what show is this? South Hall? I'm going to get my badge out. There we go. Hello. Thank you. They inspect your bag. They have these, like, uh, black lights or whatever, and your things actually glow under the back black lights. So every time you go into, like, one of the, uh, the halls, they shine black lights at you. Or at your badge, really, to see if it's valid or if it's just a copy. I have a battery bank on me, actually, but uh, the issue is the way my phone is mounted in this uh, gimbal, I can't actually plug it in because it's right up against the, uh, what's it called? See, so, yeah, Adam, it's right up against like the mount, so I can't actually plug in my uh, battery charger. So I have it, and I'm just going to wait till my phone dies, and then I'll wake my phone back up with it. But yeah. Sick to come oh, yeah, there you go. Let's take a look at it. Check this out. Military ready. It's cool looking. Extra tires and wheels. And check this out. Wow. These guys are ready for adventure. Bikes, snowboards, and snowmobiles. And I don't know what's up with the wheels, but the rest of the stuff looks cool on there. So, pardon me. Looks like we've got more trucks and, oh, I think we found, yeah, suspension, tire, and wheels. So this is not the mobile electronics section. This is trucks and all that stuff. So, yeah. Let's see what all we got around here. Let's go for a little walk. Uh, yesterday? Uh -huh. I don't know what these are, some sort of wrap things on the wheels. 5.11, really comfy pants, even if you aren't a tactical guy. <laughs> like we got some race motorcycles. It's cool. 46 minutes and still going strong. Sort of kind of oh, running into people. Still tons of people around. Even though the show's almost over, we still got tons of people. So, truck with a bunch of lights. Let's see what else is back here. Go around. I don't want to get stuck in people traffic. What type of gimbal are you using? It's the DJI something something iPhone. I got it because it works for both the iPhone and for the GoPro, so I can use it for either one. I have to use an adapter for the GoPro, and the iPhone just natively slots right in, so that's nice. But yeah, a lot of Jeeps, a lot of modified Jeeps. Here's a Jeep. Here's a Jeep. Fancy camera guy. Is he gonna work? He's got a fancy ass rig and I'm using an iPhone. <laughs> so, let's see what else we got here. Luxury, I guess, all season tires. So there's just, there's tons of stuff here. I'm thinking about coming to CES. Uh, debating it, it's in like January or something. Uh, maybe come. There's other stuff. Rocky Mountain Radar will be here. I don't think I'm gonna go say hi to them. Look at these guys. Notice their badges. They have red at the bottom. Different types of badges. So, thinking about coming. Uh, I know the Escort's gonna be releasing some new stuff. Uh, Whistler will have their new detectors. Uh, all that kind of stuff. So, there'll be new stuff then as well. Uh, just debating whether or not I'm gonna come. But, it could be fun. Let's see. Some more cars. Cool. Tons of stuff. Just out for a stroll. I haven't really explored this area too much. There's a lot of stuff on the show that I haven't really taken the time to see, you know? It's another Raptor. You have jokes for Rocky Mountain. Yeah, so apparently Radar Roy, when he came, uh, Rocky Mountain Radar tried to kick him out of the show because he was interviewing him and they were not very happy and... Yeah, so I wonder if that would happen to me, if they would try to kick me out because I haven't been the most warm, I suppose, to Rocky Mountain Radar, because, you know, well, you guys know, um, just pointing out what they do, but anyway, that would be fun. You didn't like my camera question? Sorry, no, I didn't see your camera question. I'm not really staring at the phone too, too much. I'm mostly looking around at the car, so I might have missed it. No, tell us what, tell you what. <laughs> 